Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Keshav Zado and in this video we will see order to cash business process in an organization. So these are the important business processes in an organization. So first is order to cash or it is also called as O2C process. This process is related to sales activity in the organization and sales department is responsible for this process. Next is procure to pay or it is also called as P2P process. This process is related to procurement of raw material or service from external vendor and metal management or purchase department is responsible for this process. Next is production planning. Production planning is related to producing the finished goods as per requirement. So production planning department is responsible for producing the finished goods as per requirement. Next is hire to retire process or it is also called as H2R process. This process is related to human resource department in an organization. So in this video we will see order to cash process that is O2C process. Now let us assume we are the manufacturer of some finished product and we have to sell that product to the customers. So order to cash process start when we receive inquiry from the customer. So first step is inquiry from the customer. So inquiry includes product detail, quantity and time when that product is required. So after receiving the inquiry from the customer, sales department will send the quotation for that requirement. Quotation includes product detail, payment terms, how long does it take to deliver the product, is there any discount or not and what are the shipping conditions. Now after sending the quotation to the customer, if customer is ok with our quotation, then customer will send purchase order and based on purchase order received from the customer, sales department will create a sales order. Sales order includes everything that is product detail, quantity, price, payment terms, delivery date, shipping conditions, etc. So after creating sales order, production department will produce that finished goods and send to the inventory or warehouse and before shipping date, warehouse team will start picking the products and packing them for shipping purpose. And on shipping date, goods will be issued to the customer or shipping party. So picking, packing and post goods issue are shipping related activities. So after issuing goods to the customers, accounting department will make accounting entry. So here after issuing the goods, accounting entry will be cost of goods sold account debit to stock. After goods issue, we have to send the bill to the customer. So we can send this bill to the customer along with goods or separately. So after sending the bill, accounting department will update the accounting entry for billing as customer account debit to revenue account. And last step is receiving the payment from the customer. So after receiving the payment from the customer for the sold product, accounting entry will be bank account debit to customer account. So this is the typical order to cash process. Thank you for watching.